Good morning, fellow electricians. This morning, I would like to dispel a myth that gets on my nerves regarding the cables. You know, the ones made by the Germans, the SY, the YY, and the CY. That these must be listed as a departure from the regulations because they do not meet the British standard. I'm not quite sure where this CAC came from, but I find it personally, it's just my opinion, I invite you to argue with me and tell me why I'm wrong. I find it maximum bellendery when people are saying that they're not to the regs, you've got to disconnect them, you've got to throw them in the bin, you've got to list them as a departure, uh, they don't meet the standard and all this bollocks. SY, YY and CY cables have been used in industry for years. Yeah, they've been around for a very long time and I've been using them in the UK as part of my electrical stuff since I was an apprentice. I can remember we used them on all sorts of projects. For some reason lately, there's a load of people with B in the body. It's probably just trying to show how Billy Big Balls are about how they know the regulations. Banging on that CY, SY and YY do not comply with the regulations and shouldn't be used or should be listed as a departure. Well, I know that CY, SY and YY are made by lap cables and I use lap cables quite a bit and they're some of the best cables and glanding systems I've ever used in my entire life. They're flexible, SY provides some mechanical protection but it's not armoured, yeah I know that, and also SY, CY and YY are not to be used outside. That's what the manufacturers say. However, some people persist telling me that I can't use it and it needs to be a departure. Well, I tell those people, Twin and Earth, yeah? Twin and Earth cable is in the regulations. And there's some people that, I don't know, they must walk unicorns of an evening and uh, look at all the world peace about it and just see the world through rose to the glass, yeah? Twin and Earth, which is recognised by BS7671, the UK wire regulations, yeah? Some people think that Twin Earth is an amazing super duper cable that's specifically designed for houses to make our regulations best in the world and all this bollocks, yeah? Here's the fact, Twin Earth cable dog shit. It's the absolute bare minimum they could put round a cable to make it not kill some fucker. That's why the Earth's smaller than the conductors, because it's shit. Because when offered the option of safety or cheapness, the majority of the time, whether you like to admit it or not, it's usually things are done for cheapness yeah while scraping the barrel anyone that tells me that the uh the twin and earth is an excellent uk standard can basically fuck off into a bin because it's bollocks yeah twin and earth is the bare minimum to get away with to stop little miss miggins electrocuting herself when she's fucking around and that's what it is and if you think that cy sy and yy standards don't far exceed the standard for twin and earth cable Basically, you're a fucking moron, yeah? And you probably should consider a lifelong condition of plumbing or plaster or something like that. SYC, YY, YY, flexible. Offer EMC protection, which is one of the big selling points, yeah? Especially CY. SY has a little bit of mechanical protection, but not much. I personally won't use it outside. And a lot of the SY, CY, YY hate comes from its misuse by non-electricians. It comes from it's misused by enthusiastic dabblers, yeah, otherwise known as air conditioning engineers, who think it's some sort of super duper cable that crosses a line between things that they can use because they is thick, yeah. It's a bit like pipe, it looks like an hose pipe, and it's outdoor cable, which it's not. So next time you see an air conditioning engineer slamming something along with his black fucking mambas, yeah, let him know that that is not suitable for outdoor use. And I'm sure people can provide a plethora of pictures where it's sucked water in, it's gone cloudy, the inside's rust. Nine times out of ten, these are attached to air conditioning units that are probably nothing to do with any qualified sparker, who obviously is selecting and erecting the cable to meet the requirements of the job and the specification of the cable, i.e. not using these cables where they're exposed to UV or outside thingamajigs and flora and fauna and all those uh, mutual detrimental influences that we expect outside yeah so don't go in on it don't go sticking the departures box it's just a cable it far exceeds the minimum standard cable we have anyway and it's all right if you select it right in just the same way the triplex is all right if you select it right the armored is the fp is the all these cables because as far as i know when i've been in this game 22 years yeah 
There's no one cable I can use. There's no one cable that fits every job. Maybe we're getting close to some of these high tough cables that people love, but this, it's expensive. There's no one used cable that fits every job. And even if there was, it wouldn't be the most cost effective cable to use for every job anyway. So the simple crack is, when you're selecting and erecting, make sure you're selecting and erecting the most suitable cable for that job based on its characteristics, its price, and the requirements you have. Simple as that. Don't go out on a SY, Y1, CY, just because you've heard someone say on the internet and you're a bell and you like copying people, or you've only ever seen air conditioned installations that are absolute dog shit. Thank you. This party political broadcast was made on behalf of the CYSY and YY party, and I hope we can get your vote next time. And uh, ever use CYYY and SY in my house? Fuck you down straight, motherfucker!